Hey all, this is Towboat Trail, Smoke on the Water. Uh, gonna do a review today on a uh, cigar that I talk about all the time. I reference its flavor profile. It's a uh, it's a very uh, very peppery blend. Uh, it's supposed to be really strong. I don't really find it that strong. When you get real, right down towards the end, I mean, you're gonna catch uh, maybe catch a little bit of feeling off the of nicotine. But I, I talk about it in some of my other videos as a reference it being one of my favorites. And and here it is. It is the uh, Lido Gomez's uh, La Flor Dominicana, the Airbender. And I prefer the chisel shape. Now, to be honest, I haven't smoked a lot of the different sizes. I have tried a couple of the Parejos, but the... Uh, I haven't tried the Matatan, which is the uh, 2011 Top 25 Cigar Aficionado uh, of this blend, just a different shape. Uh, but uh, I just really like the chisel, and a lot of people are copying this now, but uh, from the research that I've done, Lito Gomez, he came out with this shape. Uh, you know, he may not be the one that invented it. It was attributed to him, the part things that I read, but, you know, I find out there's, there's very, very little things new under the sun especially in cigar manufacturing it's been going on for quite some time I'm not sure if this is something new or something that he revived that's been you know out of style for you know a hundred years or whatever but uh but uh you know they say that he created it so if he did kudos to him because I really like it kind of feels like you're playing the saxophone or something so I'll get her cut and uh, get her lit up and I'll see where she goes thank you alright I'm going to try to make this shot without a iPhone case. See how it works out. Show you how to clip this uh, tip. Um, see, it's uh, funny looking. I find if you cut it this way, you crush it. It's better to clip it this way. And I always, I always kind of wet it. I don't slobber all over it, I just kind of drag my lips over it. Just to give it a tiny bit of moisture, I find that helps uh, to keep the wrapper from splintering. And on the chisel tip, you see I just clip off a tiny little piece. I mean, look at that. That's nothing, right? Leaves a very small opening, but if you give it a draw, it's actually got a really good draw. Of course, you can clip off more, but I like to start out with a little bit. You see, that's that's nothing, and uh, that'll uh, get you started. All right. Sorry about the late update. I'm almost to the uh, band point. Uh, the ash just fell off, so it was a good four inches long. Uh, I put a, a picture on cigar, the Cigar Smoker app for iPhone. If any of y'all ever look at that stuff, uh, they got a Cigar Shots image gallery, and there's a picture of the ash on there. Uh, didn't get to put it on the video. I was going to, but uh, had a kind of work, had some work stuff going on. Had to take care of, but it happens. This has been. Uh, just another typical airbender, uh, excellent, great pepper all the way through, smooth, well aged, it's just a nice good pepper wash over the tongue, wonderful through the nose, I mean you just, you almost overheat it because you know the retro hell is so nice. But uh. You know, it's just an excellent stick. So, uh, you can see that the tip, for the most part, it holds up, holds its shape. No problems at all with it. And, uh, highly recommended, you know. You can get these on, uh, oh, I think it's, it's the cigar place like $127 a box when they're in stock it's not too bad uh, 
excellent stick, so highly recommended. It. Uh, it's, it's Towboat Trail, man. Smoke on the water.